it felt fantastic. Um, I mean, being among the first ever in history riding a heavy vehicle that's electrified, it's of course amazing. Uh, and it's also showing the opportunity to actually uh, put, turn around the whole transport sector in the long term at least to see that it's possible to electrify also the heavy traffic and uh, to be that show also that Sweden is innovative, we are brave and uh, we want to be in the lead of this uh, development towards the uh, against climate change and towards the sustainable society. From a Swedish point of view, we have today an electricity sector that is more or less climate neutral. Uh, we have a heating sector that, are, that, ha, uh, that we have developed from a totally dependent on oil to the, today be up to 95% renewable. Our challenge is the transportation sector and this kind of tests I think will, will prove, prove to be crucial for our, our, our uh, possible uh, for for our uh, if we are to manage to make Sweden the first first fossil free free uh, economy uh, society in the world. I wouldn't really call it a groundbreaking innovation because basically it's the combination of some old and mature technologies. It's railway technology combined with truck technology. On the one hand side you have the, um, the efficiency of a railway system and you combine it with the um, flexibility of a truck system and that's the real advantage. But I would also like to add to that that um, if you look at this, it from a um, bigger perspective then this should not be seen as a competition to the railway because it is a necessary complement to the railway if we really are eager to achieve the climate goals which we have set. This is the okay. up and down. Well, it is automatic on, on these wires, so you drive the truck perfectly as a normal truck. You don't do anything. You, you drive it along the white strips in the road, that's the only guidance you need today. And the electric uh, pantograph solves the rest. So if you stay in, in, your, uh, in your lane, you're perfectly right to, to pick up the electricity. If you have an obstacle in the road, like you need to do an overtake or something like that, you just go out in the, in the left lane and this system fully automatically goes down and you start up, either you go on batteries for the short distance or you start up uh, combustion engines, so completely automatic.